ingredient is a little bit of a secret ingredient. This is something my mom taught me. It helps stabilize uh, when you're making a, uh, a dense bread like this. Uh, oftentimes, when you're done baking it, after it's sit for a day or so, it starts to lose some of that moisture. It gets to crumbling. So, in order to help hold it together a little bit, add this to your bread recipe. Uh, being as we're making banana bread, I've got uh, some instant banana pudding here. And what I'm going to do is just add a couple tablespoons of that to my dry ingredients. Adds a little bit of sweetness, a little more flavor, and then of course the, uh, the gelatin component of the pudding is going to help uh, stabilize everything and, and help hold it together. All right. So let's go ahead and finish getting all this sifted in. All right, once you've got all your dry ingredients sifted together, go ahead and take your measuring cup here and just make a little well right in the middle of it. And that's where we're going to add our wet ingredients. Once you get your well made, you want to take your eggs and you want to make sure that these are room temperature. Anytime you're making bread, always use room temperature eggs. If you use cold eggs in a bread, it uh, kind of stagnates the, uh, the leavening and it doesn't want to rise as well. Let's go ahead and crack in our first one and our second one. Tough eggshell. Alright, so we got our two eggs in there. Now we've got our uh, butter and sugar that we creamed together 